Welcome to our afternoon show on entertainment. Today we're focusing on San Francisco entertainment. Two gentlemen here, actors, local experience. What kind of entertainment do you provide to the Bay Area gentlemen? We make, or we have made, a low budget, thoughtful art house film. And it is showing where? He just, uh, we had a release in his living room last yeah. week. Yes. We had about yes. overflow crowd, I'd say at least 27, 28 yeah. people. Really? I thought it was even as high as 35. Yeah. We, I mean, his efficiency unit was completely packed. It was standing room only. It was mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and the, the reviews were great. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Barbara said that she thought it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my best friend Tom, he said that, wow, this took you guys a lot of time to do. They could, and I had several people say it was clear we put a lot of effort into it. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. Somebody even said A for effort. Yes, A for effort. A for that feels effort. really good. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. We poured our heart and soul into it. Yeah. And, and after the living room performance, where are you taking us? Um, uh, we're going to submit it to a lot of festivals. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Any particular? Uh, um, we're going to submit it to Sundance. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I heard there, there was one, uh, I think, in Modesto yes. we're going to submit to. I have right? a contact in, in fact, I didn't even tell you yet. Yeah. I have a contact in the Manteca International ah. Film Festival. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah, Very it's good. right by the water park. Uh -huh. So you go back and forth. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Actually, you buy the movie ticket, and it's a discount into into the into the yeah. theme park. Yeah, we have to pay. They don't give us tickets, but yeah. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah. after this production, what do you have in mind for doing next? Oh, we have so many ideas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have so many ideas. There is the um, the epic battle film mm -hmm. that we're hoping that this this will will give us kind of will help parlay us into that. It's. You know, we want to have like elephants attacking and all sorts mm -hmm. of other things. We don't believe in CGI. No. Because that's no. really cheating the performers. So it's not going to compete with the movie 300? Well, well it's, it's going to be bigger. Can, I mean, we can compete with them. I mean, that's not the issue. We're going to blow them out of the water. But the thing is, you know, he has an uncle that works at the San Francisco Zoo. So we're hoping we can kind of get some of the animals on loan yeah. so we can make this film. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In your work here in the Bay Area prior to this film, mm -hmm. what kind of performing entertaining have you done? Um, well, I was a juggler out on the street, yeah. And that gave me a lot of experience. It really helped me connect with people so that I can bring those experiences to my filmmaking. How did you connect with people? Well, you know, you make good eye contact with them with your juggling, and then you, you know, you... As you're doing this, and you direct their eyes down to the hat in front of you, the like, best pleading, hey, give me a little bit of money. Here. Best is when they toss you fruit to juggle, and because then they don't even expect it back. No, and then you, you get, get free to keep food. It and, I know. Yeah, I pull that out every day. I had fruit. I had oranges, apples every night for dinner. Yeah, yeah, and I did a lot of soft shoe at convalescent homes and rest homes and mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. we'd have a, a guy on a on a player piano, or uh, we'd set up a player piano, or have a guy. Playing and you know I would just do my, my numbers and, and people really really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. How have you adjusted your entertaining for the San Francisco audience? Well, you know it's a diverse marketplace here, and that's why we think as filmmakers that uh, you know there's a real passion for filmmaking in this community. It's just you know it's tough with the big guys in LA to compete with them, but we really feel we've got a product here that you know clearly from the audience we had last night that we've got something that could really be a hit here. And now it's just getting it out there. We don't have to dumb it down, and that's what no. we like most. Our, our, our filmmaking is very real. Yeah. Very real. Yeah, it is. It is. From your work here, what suggestion would you offer to our audience who wants to make films here in Frank, San Francisco? Anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. You just have to have a dream yeah. and go for it. People think you need, like, Fancy equipment that works no, well, no. and good writing, you know, from professional screenwriters. They're way um, too expensive anyway. Yeah, yeah, and, and, you know, even skilled, experienced performers, but you just need people with, you need with passion. hope and a dream. You need passion. Put really your heart you, into you it. You need to put your heart into it, and you can do anything. And your soul. That's right. 
So all you need is a camera. I don't care where you get it. And a soul. And you set it up and just let your heart out. And you're going to have a product that people respond to. Yeah. You both speak with so much passion. Yeah. How did this get started for you? Huh. It's been a long journey. <laughs> um, yeah, it I mean, we were, we were working to try and raise the money for our film for, God, it was about six, seven years. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we really ended up, well, you know, we hit up a lot of relatives to get a lot of money. And, Finally, um, we met our target of five thousand dollars. We did. Though, it did. It took a while, but we got there. It's just been gravy since then. You really? Know, really? Yeah. I mean, because now you know you've got your soul right there yeah. on film for everybody in the world and to your see. heart. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. What was the moment of, that you recognized? What was the seed, the event that uh, set you off on this this quest? Well, we've always been storytellers yeah. in our own way. I mean, I really think of myself as, as kind of a, a copalist ma man, you know, that that's, that's where my storytelling Except comes from. Except less linear. You know, sometimes there isn't that's a beginning, fair. sometimes there isn't an end, sometimes there's not a middle, sometimes you have well, just a middle. Well, we're really trying to work to get beyond structure. Yeah. To, you know, basically the whole Hollywood formula. <laughs> We're trying to move beyond that and really get something that speaks more from real emotions, yeah, real this, passion. This arc that you go through. and Because real life is not always structured. There's a lot of chaos. and it's haphazard. You know, people speak over to each other. They say boring things. Yeah. And if you put that, I think, on film, you got something real that people, people will respond to. Will like, respond. We, like last night. Like last night. A lot of people seeing that we put a lot of effort into it. And that was clear. And, to it, them. Showed. Yep. and it showed. And they appreciated the effort? Yeah. Absolutely.